Oh boy. We got the giant seven tree here. The 40s, the anthems. Got the anthem wheels on here. 40 inch nittos, 1550s. I mean, it is a big son of a gun. Those are some big tires. We're gonna start this bad girl up. As I predicted, she's a little bit fussy because I didn't have her plugged in long enough. And the batteries on this truck are a little bit weak and they need to get replaced, which I'm gonna do here soon enough anyway. So, I'm going to start up my Longhorn. And uh, we will go up there and pick up that truck to jump it. And then it should should be fine. some gloves because it is freezing out. I am telling you guys, if you want to feel like you own the road and you are the biggest son of a gun driving around, this truck just grabs so much attention and it just commands so much respect. Like it is just ridiculous. It really does. It does really ride super nice cruising 70 miles an hour no problem and this truck does like when you set the cruise I mean it just goes it really does move pretty easily and it only holds like I want to say 1800 to 2000 rpm going 70 miles an hour with these tires on it and the truck really does it does ride really nice so if you want to have an opportunity to win this truck we're actually running a giveaway for this truck right now and every $15 you spend using the link in the description um, on LNP gear gets you another entry automatically to win this pickup truck and no it's not completely done yet we're gonna be doing a couple more things to it but man is this truck just a beast man it is it is awesome and it's just so funny because like you see normal height trucks behind you and they look so small you're like the new standard is just so big in your head that um, every other pickup on the road looks puny it's hilarious We did get the OBS in the barn here. This is the living quarters my dad has been building in this barn. It is massive. It's like a three-story gig he's got going on there. But anyway, so if you can hear me over the heater, I'm just trying to heat the barn up a little bit in front of the truck. What we're gonna be planning on doing is the headlights, taillights, and the grill like I mentioned earlier. However, not in any particular order, but that's what we'd like to get done. Well, okay, we are to the next scene here. It is actually the next day. Yesterday I was working on the OBS, swapping out the taillights, and by the time I had gotten about 15 minutes worth of work in, 
I get a text from my brother that said he needed to pick up from basketball practice and after I had already completely put away all the tools and the gear, I got a text that said I didn't have to pick them up anymore. But at that point, it was dark, it was cold, the, sh the heater was kicked off, I was outside of the barn, I'm like, you know what, we're just going to wrap it up and uh, finish it tomorrow. So here are the new tires for the Longhorn. Of course, you can see the pattern on those. They are like just as wide as the uh, tires on the OBS. They are 375-45 R22. Those of you guys who watched the previous video regarding the Longhorn's build setup, I told you guys I was going to go with a wide stanced out tire that wouldn't be so stretched. So I'm not doing like a 14 wide and then like a 1250 wide tire because I honestly like it to where, you know, you have this little lip of tire that kind of goes over the lip of the wheel to where it's not completely like when you look down the sidewall of the tire, you just see rim sticking out like this far. Um, and the tires like stretched so where the tires so stretched that it just kind of looks a little bit weird we're actually going to go back to the barn and finish the obs grill swap out however since i have to leave out of town now i'm not going to have time to complete the transition of the headlights so let's get this truck started up it is cold out. it is about 19 degrees out but this truck's going to get a totally new look people it's going to look so so mean Sounds good. Let's get back to the barn so we can get the new grill put on the OBS. Yes, there's plenty of room to turn these things still. I mean, front and rear, there's inches of space between the bumper, the um, leaf pack, all that stuff, uh, and it doesn't it doesn't rub anywhere, which is awesome. So we are going to pop the hood, get the grill taken off, and get the new one put on. And I personally think it's going to really change the look and give it that nice classic look to kind of tying into the aftermarket stuff and I think it's gonna look really good. Boom! Now that completes the front end of this truck. I mean, there's still going to be the headlights that are going to be changed out that are going to fit the truck a little bit better. I don't mind the headlights the way they are now, but the other set's just going to be that much better to tie it all together. But look at that. Finally, we got the new wheels, the new tires, the grill. I told you guys this truck was going to move along pretty quick. And also keep in mind, I've already mentioned it in the video, I'm pretty sure, but you guys can be winning this truck. I kid you not. You can win this truck truck these are legit giveaways we really give these trucks away you can't fake giveaways this caliber um, it's just it's just a huge opportunity for fans and honestly guys we do not have that many people to enter and I know some people might think oh he's just saying that some more people think you know hey you should enter he's probably got like you know 50,000 people to enter these things not even close to that um, in fact if you want to do some quick simple math to try to get an idea of roughly how many people participate on a good giveaway typically with these giveaways you can look at my overall subscriber base just on YouTube and subtract about 97% and that's the average amount of people who enter into giveaways like these by the last minute of the last day of the giveaway so look at that I mean and that's not even saying that's how many people are going to enter for this one but that's like how many people entered for like the Longhorn and the first gen um, the dually the other trucks I mean that's just like a general idea of you know the amount of people that actually enter in on these things which makes it a huge opportunity. That's not being said in a, in a bad way, like, oh, you know, I wish more people entered the giveaways. I'm just saying that so you guys realize that it's actually a really big opportunity. I don't need more people to enter these giveaways. As long as I can break even and, you know, the trucks get moved along and we can move along the channel a little bit, that's fine. You know, I just, I'm just letting you guys know that it's a really, really big opportunity and uh, people, people really get to win, like, their dream trucks and they think it's, 
literally the coolest thing ever and it literally is such a good time to hang out with you guys and uh, to give you guys the keys to a truck that we've worked on and it, and it really is just that that kind of a special moment it's just really awesome remember we have some new things coming for this truck and i know this first one's been on hold i really do apologize it's just a lot of other projects that I've been moving along with and I really need to just hire somebody to come finish this thing. If you guys are really good with first gen work and fabricating and problem solving and engine bays and working on stuff like this, let me know. I honestly will pay somebody to come out and just to finish this thing. I just got so many other projects I've got going on and I'm saying aside from the truck stuff, I've got a lot going on. Here are the tires. They are just huge. Just massive tires. And I get a lot of people that ask about the ATV. Do you still have it? Yes. And it's got I think less than four hours on it and it is just sitting here. Um, I really honestly, <laughs> if I'm being honest, I should sell the thing. So if somebody wants this and you live not too far from the Northeast Indiana area, if you want to give me 6,000 bucks for it, I will take it. It's a, it's a Can-Am 6, no, it's a Can-Am 400 or 450, I can't remember. Um, which of the two it is, it's going to be up here somewhere. It's a four, okay, it's a 450. It's a Can-Am 450. It's got aftermarket wheels and tires on it. And um, they're just a lot beefier, a lot nicer. They're only actually an inch taller than the factory size, but they're just a little bit wider and they're more aggressive, obviously. Uh, but it's a really, really good looking machine. It really rides really nice. It's a 2018, I believe. It's a 17 or an 18, but I think it's an 18. Um, I just bought it this year, but I bought it for a giveaway and the winner had the option between a brand new four wheeler cash and they chose cash and I've just got a four wheeler sitting here that's completely paid in full. It's just, it's just sitting here. But, um, anyways, we've also got then some brand new tires over here. Um, those tires are supposed to be going on the white first gen. It's really just a matter of when my dad wants to decide, um, he's going to order some Anthem wheels. And then other than that, those are going to go on it and those are going to go on that first gen. Um, but there's just a couple of other things he'd like to do to that truck before he throws the wheels and tires on there, which is completely understandable. But then also onto the wheels that were off of the OBS. These wheels, I will sell these wheels. I've had a lot of guys messaging me asking if they can buy them. Yes, I will sell them. There are some small flaws on one or two of the wheels. Scratch there on the lip of the wheel there. And a couple other small dings on just two of the wheels. Okay, and then this one's the worst of them. But you see that scratch right there? I mean, nothing a Sharpie can't fix, you know. Just take a Sharpie, touch it up, it'll look good. But anyways, I will take $1,500 for the set. And obviously, I'm not selling them for any value of the tires, although you could run the tires for another 2,000 miles if you wanted, I don't care. Um, but I'm really just selling them for the rims. And not to mention, these are 24 by 14 fuel Mavericks and they're only wrapped. So that wrap will come off and they should be completely fine under there. It should just be a black lip and they are an eight by six and a half bolt pattern. So if you guys are interested, 1500 bucks. I know if you look online, typically these wheels sell from, I want to say 550 to 750 just per wheel, per one wheel. Um, so 1500 or make me an offer, come pick them up. I'm in the Northeast Indiana area. I'm only going to provide some meetup location, address information. Um, if you are serious and you're seriously going to come pick them up. The tires currently are 37 by 1350s. But of course, like I said, you're mostly just buying them for the value of the wheels, which is still a decent deal. I'm not really selling them for any, any kind of value in the tires. But so yeah, stuff for sale. ATV, tires, wheels, you know, whatever. Got to clean some crap up out of the shop because um, I'm not going to be here too many more months here and I'm going to be completely out and into a different different location and I got to start getting crap out of my dad's shop here. That is going to put a wrap on this video so thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you guys think of the new grill and also the new tail lights on this truck because I think they look really really nice and they match the wheels exceptionally well. You can see those tail lights there. Anyways, I think they look great, so thank you guys so much. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe if you're new. Join the team. Join the family. Don't forget to enter that giveaway, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.